Here's what we got to do. We're going to put a center line here. So you can get up. So check this out. This is just one of our up environments. So we're going to put this down here. Okay. And it's going to turn. So I want to put a center line. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing because there's nothing to mark it with. But we'll know because we're going to set this shirt up to your center line. your screen, which it is. Would you grab your screen? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn this, take this one off, and set it over here. Where's this first? So, take, check this out. Now, well, we're going to set this up, right? So this is legible, so we're going to turn it on the opposite way. Because... We're going to stick the shirt on with the, you know, so with that, so now what we got to do is we need to find a ruler. Do you know if there's any rulers here? Anything like that? No. Okay. Chris, how's it going? I wasn't sure if you were going to make it today. So what we're going to do is we're going to center this on the center line. Okay. So then what we got to do is we got to tighten the screen down. So it's not going to be super tight. Now I'm guessing this is centered because we don't have any. Uh, it will center Yeah, from here to this side and that side. So what we're going to do is this, and then what we got to do now is we need to tighten this down, lift this up. We're going to try and slide this pallet in. Oh no. Well. Doesn't work. And we're gonna do this. So now I have that marker right here. So check this out. Placement. Usually you want to put the shirt, the, the image to start about four fingers this much from the collar. So we're gonna guess. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put my hand here. And then I'm gonna put my hand here. But we need to either if that's too far in, we gotta stick. Okay. Let's see here. Let's look at it. Ooh. You see, if there's something in here. Do you guys have any? Oh, do you have any Q-tips? No? Okay, scoot over for a second. This is mineral spirits. There's nothing like crazy. So mineral spirits is used to clean paintbrushes sometimes. Yeah. Right? So I'm going to use this in this application to try to clear. See here? Look. What's in there? I don't know. I don't know. It's not welcome. Now, here's the next trick. Give me a piece. You remember that clear packing tape? Yeah. Let's check it out. Okay, so if you get a clog, if you get a clog, you know what I mean? First thing you do, panic. I'm just joking. You just clean it. It's just logical. So there's got to be something in there. There's a lot of things it could be. There's, but we've already can you see it on here, though? You can barely see it. Oh, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. But what happens? Listen, if you get a clog, Catch it. If you're doing 10 shirts and you get that clog and it goes through 10 shirts, you just kind of, that's horrible. So if you see it, you know, this is the time to fix it. And then, so what happens? I rub the ink underneath here. So what might happen? See this? Look. What's, what's around here? What's this? See that little black shadow? Yeah. Hello. That possibly, if I don't do something about it, I'm going to think, oh, I'm ready to print. Well, what's going to happen? That little black shadow might transfer that ink onto the next shirt. Because oh, it doesn't know. It's like right. being friendly. Right. So what you do, I'm going to put regular tape here, and then I'm going to yank it off. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Oh, and see, don't get that oh, guy. Yeah. But yeah. don't use the tape over again, because that's right. the trick. Because then you're going to transfer that image to the next one. Right. So, with that said, I'm going to set this here for a second. We're going to do this. I'm going to try and pass that through, and then this shirt, we're going to cure it. So watch. It's going to line up. It's buttery like a breakfast toast, and would you look at it, and then... Let's see if where that spot is. It's oh, not yeah, there. Got it. I, I, I know these things. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? We're gonna count to, I need somebody, does anybody have like a timer? Yeah, I got a timer on my phone. 
Is that what you want? You are so mo modern. We want it for a minute. All right. Okay. So, Dr. Yeah. Chris, Dr. Chris, Dr. Chris, the uh, doctor of musical instruments. Sure. Would you do me a favor? Yeah. Hi. Do One do minute. What do you need? Yeah. Are you ready? I was ready. No, but I mean, should I turn it on? You could. You could. You okay. could. Now, oh man, I got you so much information. Okay. I know. That's why uh, you got to think of. You know, it's. It, I'm gonna tell you. It is so exciting, Chris. I want you to go over there and find a large shirt in that white box. I mean, in those of those white shirts, because that's what size you're wanting, right? Large. Am, am I correct? Little finger strong. All right. So what is now? I have this temperature gauge. Temperature. Let me see. You're running a temperature now. Yeah, because I'm hot. Okay, well, you need beds. <laughs> no meds for me. <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. Oh, goodness. The one thing about printing, though, honestly, or any type of, like, printmaking or, or me and basically, even when I worked at Taco Bell, I had to make it fun. I, I can't just work. It just can't be just work. Because that's not what work designed for. So basically. And then it was two to two and a half fingers. From the center, if you have a chest logo, but that wouldn't be applicable. I, I. Yeah. I know, but I'm trying. Oh, your minute came up. Okay, perfect. Stop. So right now we're at three, four, three, fifteen, three, twenty. Are you okay? Yeah. Well, watch. We're gonna print one more for him, and then we're gonna bounce to you guys. And that cheese not helping, huh? Are you sure it's your stomach and not your appendix? I'm sure it's my stomach. I checked my appendix for good there. So. Oh. I, that was my first thought too. It's like it's two to two and a half fingers from the center, correct? That is correct. What you gotta do is uh, let me just give you guys a, a little bit of what I do. Okay, so we're done with this. This one's looking groovy. So here's how we pull them off. When you're in production, typically you want to pull it off from the shoulders. But what happens? You don't want to do that. You want to go like this. Loosen it up and then. No, that's fine. Oh, I don't know what do you think? First anyway, but you don't like it's it. It's fine. It's mad crazy, dude. It's it's nice to it. Yeah. <laughs> I eat one of those on the way here. Man, I, I got a car, Chris. I, my Zuki, like coming from Los Angeles, the fastest I can go is maybe 60. But those hills, I'm in third gear or fourth gear, and even truckers are passing me. You know, coming up, you know those hills coming from like down there? But it's still fun. I can go in the dirt, and it's really fun. Okay, this one's done. Looks good. I like it. Okay, this is the first one. Off the press. You guys, stay tuned for more. All right, man. Well, that was the end of the fourth class. Mountaineer is beautiful. Check it out. Hey, man. So, hey. So, we got a cool order. My friend Al. Alex. This is a portable Al. See it? It's two color. So it's a two color front. We already got the fronts done. There's 20 pieces. I'm gonna set the back up, show it to you guys. But this time I'm gonna show you guys like step by step, not necessarily slow motion, but show you guys how the colors lay down. So stay tuned. Oh, hey, come on in. Yeah, so I told you yesterday we were gonna print the backs up. I gotta show you how we lighten up these two colors. I'll do it like so you can see first color, second color. Right now, I'm just gonna move the products over to my tray, do some test runs, check it out. All right, so we got our test done. We do have a couple pinholes, and pinholes is when ink travels through the screen in areas you don't want it, and it's easy to happen. They do happen, but so there's one over here by the S, yes. there's one here, basically one here and one here. What you do, there's a couple ways to fix it. You could put a piece of tape, but in this application, it's so close to the edge, we're not gonna use the tape. We're gonna go ahead and use the, uh, instead what we're gonna use is an, a little bit of a block out. All right, so first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the shirt on. We're gonna print the blue first. So the shirt goes all the way, there's a center line here. We line up the center line with the back of the garment. There's a center line on your fabrics too, guys. So we're gonna pull this out all the way to the edge of the neck, turn it to the blue platen, the blue ink. Pow, check it out. 
glue. I'm going to turn, load, all the way, center line down. You'll get used to finding the center line if you, if you get, you know, working on garments a lot. Turn again. Now the first screen we uh, first shirt we did is now under the flash dryer. Flash dryer is just gonna cure the top of the ink so that the black can go popping right on top. So here's the fourth, third screen, third shirt. Remember, there's only 10, so it's like a quick ass run. It's the first, fourth piece. So we're gonna set her up. Boom, boom, boom. Blue. Okay. Now we're going back to the first shirt. It's already it's dry. Black coat. What do you think? See how it fills? Beautiful. So what we do, it's a constant rotation. Load another shirt, keep it going. Back to the blue. You kind of kind of keep your mindset where you're at at all times. Now we're gonna turn back to the black. All right, so we're down to the last four pieces. We've already rotated them. Then we gotta go back and sort them. So I'll show you about sorting them and we're gonna spot check them, get them ready to go to the customer. Let's check it out. Last four. Turn in. Turn in. Last piece. So you always tell them last piece. I don't know. It's just a tradition around our shop. I don't know what you guys do at your shop. All right. So we got them all printed. They're coming off the dryer right now. One of the first things I like to do, turn off the flash dryer. Save power. So I'll sort them by size. So there's three sizes. We have two X's. We have two X's, extra large and large in this order. So we're gonna sort them by size, get them started. Boom, boom, boom. Check for spots, check for spots, guys. This is the time you check for quality control. I know there's one with a spot in it and I'm gonna take care of it once I see it. So here's the one with the spot, easy fix. We have a spot gun, 
we use a, sp a special fluid in here, high pressure, and it'll spot out some of those inky spots that you might not have wanted to be in the print. So it's a spot right here, see it? through the dryer again, dry it up real quick and put it in our order. Spot's gone. All right, dryer's off, job is done. Hey, you guys, need some shirts, need a hookup? Look us up. Tell your friends. Happy 421, huh? Puff them if you brought them. <laughs>